give us your prediction. Give us your player of the game. Or if you want to, give us what you're looking for for Alabama to turn the corner. Stephen M., take it away. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for Alabama to turn this corner. But, man, uh, defensively, get out it. Get out it. See it. Understand what you're seeing. Get after it. Offensively, Tommy Reese, don't screw this up. Do not screw this up, Tommy Reese. Final score, 28-17, Bama. This is going to be one of those career-defining games. So this team has an opportunity to either A, right the ship, or B, digress. This team will go down in history as one of the biggest letdowns in Alabama football history if they don't right this ship. It starts with winning this game. So if they don't take those necessary steps now, it's going to be a long season. For Alabama 31-27. My prediction, I'm going to go 28-21 Alabama. OJ, one of the biggest things I think that you mentioned when it comes to this game is mindset. Is a week enough to turn around the toxic mindset that we've had thus far? You know, I heard I heard they said they had a players only meeting. And uh, you know, that's a good start. You know, hopefully they did a lot of calling out people and, and also pointing fingers at themselves about what they can do better and each player taking accountability. That's a good start. And hopefully they, they kind of get on that page, man. It ain't never going to be pretty, man. If, but if y'all on the same page doing something wrong, even if the O-line do, do the wrong blocking scheme, as long as we mess up the same way and we all get the same guy covered, as long as we get everybody blocked, we'll deal with it on Monday. Go all out for each other if it's the right thing or not. Um, I think that's where it started with their mindset on that type of level. I think Rodell Williams is going to come in big. He should take a bigger role. He earned it, 84. I think he got a chance to, to make some plays against Ole Miss hit those seams and stuff like that, make some plays for us. But Rodell Williams, look forward to him having a big game. And I'm going to go Bama 35-28. Now, OJ, I got to say this. When I played, we, you know, we, we lost the game early in the season. And, you know, we had guys calling all these team-only meetings. And finally, after I think it was after the third one, you know what my response to all of them was? F all these damn meetings. Do your effing job. If you do your job, we don't need them. And I chewed right. so much ass. But we went on to win the SEC championship. <laughs> <laughs> At this point in the season, having player-only meetings, is, is it's irrelevant to me because you know what the job is. If you're going to do it or you're not, you don't need to have a players-only meeting to get your mind right to go out here and play on national TV in front of 100,000 people in the stadium to do your job. Why do you need a players-only meeting? Just do your damn job. The biggest thing, man, is just I don't see the passion. I don't see – the love like OJ played with every time he played, like Bo played with. Like, guys, I saw every single day go after it. I'm talking about balls to the wall. I'm talking about every single day. Like, in everything that we did, it was a competition. Like, we was always competing in everything that we did. And I don't think that aspect is there anymore. I don't feel that culture of, like, you know, of how we had it. And I'm not saying that it's supposed to always be that way because I know it's definitely going to change because of the generation of kids that it is. But somebody has to definitely keep that tradition alive. And I don't know if it's more alumni coming back. I don't know if they need to allow more of that. I don't even know if they need to allow more speakers. I don't know what it may be. But at the end of the day, just like Marvin been saying, you got to be able to do your job. You got to be able to hold yourself accountable. But it has to mean something to you to go get that job done and how consistent cannot be with doing every single thing at a high level, every single snap. But I do think it'll be a high scoring game. I think Bama would get them like 35, 28, or maybe higher than that, you know, maybe 38, 35, something like that. But I think Bama would definitely get them, but I think the score is going to be a little bit higher than what people are thinking. <laughs>